Good evening. We're here live at Waldorf Astoria with Inspiring Lives Magazine, and we have Miss Jessica Smith. You are one of uh, the global sports development athletes. Is that correct? Um, yes, and I am a um, victim of do former Dr. Larry Nassar. One of the main reasons that I wanted to come forward with my story was, you know, I walk in to teach these young, young girls, and I look at them, and my heart hurts to know that there might be a moment where they're not protected. What now do you tell these young girls to protect themselves, uh, or how to protect themselves, and to be aware that this does not happen in the future? Yeah, I think it starts with conversations that no matter how old you are, you have to trust your gut. You know, four-year-olds know, they know something's wrong, and a lot of times, where the issue becomes is that they don't think they can tell anyone or they don't think or they do tell someone and they're not listened to. So really promoting believing children and listening to children and helping them find their truth and, and trust themselves. Hi, I'm Christine Harrison and I'm here to receive a humanitarian award. It's crazy. I'm Larissa Boyce, also receiving a humanitarian award. This whole event was pretty much thrown around your story and your strength. But it feels great to be here. Yeah, absolutely overwhelmed, um, grateful, thankful, um, it's very surreal, you know, just doing the right, you know, taking the steps to do the right thing, speak out when something wrong is happening. Um, it's not easy to do, but, but to be acknowledged for that is um, an amazing, amazing thing to experience. What would you tell young girls right now to make sure that they protect themselves or avoid being in a predicament like that? Um, I would say listen to your gut. If you feel like something is wrong, there probably is. Yeah, absolutely. Listen to your intuitions. And if the first adult does not believe you, continue to speak. Continue to tell the next adult and the next adult until somebody listens. Um, we are part of the Sister Survivors, and we are here to represent um, all athletes and all um, abused. For us, it was really difficult when we were all isolated and when we all thought we were alone. And we're here to tell other survivors that they are not alone. I think part of facing any trauma or abuse is just saying, I have to face this and I have to move forward. Well, uh, global sports development has been around 25 years and we've been involved with Olympic sports as well as developmental sports, the whole spectrum. And um, you know, recently we became aware that there's been a culture of, of abuse, of uh, sexual assault. In, uh, in gymnastics and other sports. And part of our mission statement going back from day one, 25 years ago, was to support athletes, advocate for them, and make sure they are in a safe, healthy environment. And it really fit with our mission to put the interests of the athletes first. So many of the sports governing bodies put winning first, and the money and the winning and medals. And their mission really isn't to safeguard the well-being of the athletes. And that is really our mission and that's why we're here tonight to really focus on the athletes. I have been watching a lot of these women and have just been slack-jawed at their bravery and their endurance and their strength and I am, um, I am honored truly to be celebrating them tonight because they are the kind of women uh, that we all strive to be. It's such a hard concept to wrap your head around that um, something that was so precious and to be so respected and should have been such a safe place was sort of violated. Um, I do really like the fact that they're not victims, they're survivors, and I think that's the way it should be looked at. I think we, uh, you know, society has a tendency to plug its ears when scary stories come out, and I think we're hitting a turning point where that's no longer the case that we need to hear about the scary things, the grotesque things, the things we might not want to hear about. And the very reason we need to do that is to make sure it never happens again. The one thing I always come back to is tell your story and let your story be yours and never run away from it. Absolutely. And also, what inspired you to be a part of this great big movement? Um, I really wanted to have a chance to say thank you to these girls. That's the, the, the reason I'm here. And that's it for Inspiring Lives Magazine. I'm your host for tonight, Ranella Ferrer, here at Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills for the Foundation Global Sports Development. Stay tuned.